What's going on guys? So in front of me, you were looking at a really cool tool. Uh, this is one of those tools that you didn't even know you needed until you needed it and didn't have it. And then you're like, man, I wish I would have just gotten it because it would have been there in the event I needed it. Think of it kind of like a fire extinguisher or a burglar alarm, right? You don't really need it until you need it. And then when you need it and you don't have it, that's where the problem happens. But this kit right here is pretty dang awesome. It's basically a five piece offset screwdriver kit low profile. That means these can be used in incredibly tight and confined spaces where you can't get a power drill, where you can't get a chalk, you can't get an adapter to fit. So you need something small and hopefully you can get the torque you need and the leverage you need to actually uh, fasten or unfasten whatever you're trying to fasten or unfasten with these. But this is a five piece set. It has three Phillips head bits and it has one slotted bit right there as well. And they are super, super low profile. Let me get this unboxed so you can get a closer look at it. Okay, so the folks over at eTrailer, my official channel sponsor, provided these to me. Um, I actually was asking them, what are some really cool and unique items that you guys carry that people typically may not think you carry? Uh, and they started picking up tools, and they carry Performance Tools, which is the brand. Very cool. This comes with a cool carabiner as well to be able to attach it to your tool belt or you know your tractor or whatever you might need these on. But what's really nice about these is just that low profile nature of them. Just check that out. They're offset slightly right here, but these are Phillips bit and then of course one slotted bit. And these are designed to get into some really, really tight areas that you typically wouldn't be able to get a screwdriver. And like I said, for you know 80, 90% of the time, you may never need these. But that 10% of the time when you're stuck in that situation where you can't get a fastener out because things are really close together, this is really where these tools come in super, super handy. Now, I actually have a set of these. I've had a set of these for a long time, um, and I've carried them around with me, and I've used them maybe, I'm going to say a handful of times. But when I've needed them, they've come in super, super handy, and they've almost been one of those lifesavers. They've been one of those things where you can't complete a project or you have to disassemble an entire project that you've put together to be able to get to those screws with a traditional screwdriver but these have come in really handy for me and the best part is they're super super affordable so these are those items that you can get for well under 50 bucks uh, you can keep them in your rv you can keep them in your toolbox you can keep in your truck you can keep in your glove box and like i said when you need something like this to be able to have them available is kind of game changing because uh, again, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. You've probably had those scenarios where you've been working on a project, either you've been assembling something, disassembling something, or you need to do a repair to something. And there's like five extra steps you have to go through to get to the fasteners because you can't fit a traditional screwdriver or a traditional uh, Phillips head or uh, slotted head screwdriver into the spot that you need to get into. And for me, since I predominantly use power tools, um, you know, drills and things like that, even the low profile ones, and sometimes can't fit into those really tight areas. Now, the caveat and the thing that, you know, setting the right expectations and making sure you understand what these are capable or not capable of is the amount of actual pressure you'll be able to put on those screw heads to be able to get them out because these are a hand tool and you can get your thumb right here. If you can get your thumb worked in there and you can work on it to get it out, it's going to be slow. It's going to be a little tedious again because you're not going to have, you know, a super fast screw gun to get something in and out and you're going to be doing it by hand. But if something is not so tight that you can't get the torque or the pressure you need on it to get it moving, uh, this can come in really, really handy. And again, it's definitely helped me. I think the last time I used my kit was on my garage door opener. I had to get to the board to remove it, and they wanted you to take the entire cover off. But um, I could see the Phillips head screws I needed to get to. I just couldn't get to it with any traditional screwdriver or power screwdriver. And it just put me in a position where I was like, man, I can do these 10 extra steps. Or if I had a tool like this, I could get to it really quickly. And I happen to have a tool like this. So again, these are made by the folks from Performance Tool. These were provided to me by eTrailer.com. I'll put a link in the description if this is something you may be interested in. Super affordable, very, very robust, heavy-duty tool. Love the fact that it comes with a cool carabiner because if you're using these on, say, a ladder or you're way up high or maybe you're on top of your RV or you're working in a tight area and you just want to kind of keep them on you, you can definitely attach them to you while you're working. But absolutely recommend these tools. Again, you know, 
80, 90% of the time, you may never need these. But when you do need them, you're going to really wish you had them. And these are definitely one of those tools I recommend that you carry around with you. Keep in a toolbox, keep nearby in the event that you need to work in a really, really tight area to get to a fastener and uh, at least a Phillips head or a slotted fastener. And you need something that can get to it quickly, efficiently, and with, you know, I guess reasonable pressure. Okay, so another item I wanted you to take a look at, and this was not a sponsored item. This wasn't actually provided to me by, by e-trailer or channel sponsor or anything like this. Uh, I went out and I purchased this can of Shield T9 to replace a can that was provided to me like a couple years ago. It's, it's been a while since it was sent to me. They didn't pay me to review it. They simply said, we think you'll love it enough that you'll probably want more of it. And, uh, and you know, they sent me a sample of their Shield T9 product, rust and corrosion protection, waterproof lubrication, developed by the Boeing company. This stuff is awesome. Um, again, they're not paying me to say this. They sent me one can of this stuff a long time ago, uh, used the heck out of it on so many different things. Uh, this stuff is absolutely amazing. It works really, really well. I use this on all sorts of components here on the property um, to even RV components. I put some, uh, some of this on some suspension components, things like that. Um, it's a protectant. It's rust and corrosion protectant, and it's also waterproof, and it's a lubrication. This thing has so many different applications, engines, electrical circuitry, deck hardware, chains, uh, cables, pedals, saw tabletops, lathes, bits, handheld tools, garage doors, uh, jack stand, slide outs, engine, electrical. This just has so many capabilities. And I really, really like using this stuff. It works really, really well. It's a great, great product. And when I went out to buy this myself, I actually got this can on Amazon. It was like 20 bucks or more. So it's not inexpensive, especially when you compare this to like, uh, you know, WD-40, which is more of a penetrating solvent. Uh, this is going to be more comparable to a lubricant. And this is something that, again, works really, really well. I definitely like this product. Again, they didn't pay me to say any of this. I just really, really like the product. Um, so I keep myself stocked up with this. And I don't buy too many cans at once because it's pretty dang expensive, to be honest with you. But I usually like to have at least one can of this stuff available. But again, this is the Shield T9. Stuff works really, really well. I definitely, uh, definitely like using this. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you guys a couple products that I personally use, I personally enjoy. One was provided by eTrailer, my official channel sponsor, even though I already had a set of them. Um, they sent me another set, which is really, really nice. The first set I paid for myself, the second set they provided, uh, and then this stuff right here, which I guess the first bottle they sent me uh, didn't pay me or anything for it, and I tried it, loved it, used it, and uh, I always try to keep a can available. So I'll put links to both of these in the description of my video if you definitely want to try this out yourself. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again real soon.